Hey guys, so sorry for the background noise. My son is playing and my husband too, so yes, you can see here. Today I received a package from the company Hebo. Uh, their company made sublimation ink. They just released some new items. They are they have now uh, sublimation paper. They have some uh, water decals, water slide decals, something like that. I'm, I'm not sure how they called. I'm gonna show you anyway. And they also have some new sublimation ink bottles that are perfect for the eco tanks. So no more trying to refill the Epsom bottles with the sublimation ink or trying uh, crazy ways to fill the tanks. Now the bottles go directly into the tanks and you don't have to do anything else. So that's awesome. Okay, so today I'm going to be creating a shirt with the Hippo sublimation ink so you can uh, see uh, how vibrant the colors are and the quality of their inks. They sent me the Hippo transfer paper for direct fabric. So we also have some water slide decal paper for inject clear. I also got some sublimation paper 110 sheets 8.5 by 11 it says 98 percent transfer rate work with epson sawgrass and recut sublimation printers 125 g grams I, th I think it is i don't know i don't think they these items are in their amazon shop yet but i'm gonna leave the link to their sh amazon shop in the description box anyway so when they become available you can look through that link but yeah let's do some stuff let's see how this performs Okay, so I mentioned that I was going to make a shirt, but I changed my mind and I'm going to make a tote bag with this design that is um, so in right now. It says hello summer and it has beautiful colors. We can determine if the inks looks good or not that I know they look good, but I want to show you. So what I usually do when I'm designing, I open a new file with the size of the paper for example my tote bag it's really big <laughs> i don't have the exact measurements right now but i know that um an 8.5 by 11 it's gonna do okay we're gonna create the file the size of the sublimation paper and now i want to move the design to my file and you just do that by dragging the design into your new file so here I have it, um, I can make it a little bit bigger and then in the center, let's check because sometimes it will cut off the print image like in here. Okay, you can also adjust here and it's supposed to adjust the size also, there you go. We can make it even bigger, so I'm gonna go and right here i am very happy with the size we're going to set up in here i have already my preset for sublimation which says color matching uh, it says epson color controls and then uh, we go to print settings plain paper uh, bright white paper print quality it has to be quality you have fine normal has to be quality mirror image this is very important color options you have to put no color adjustment and there you go we just hit print here's the transfer paper it looks a lot like regular paper just a little bit heavier it doesn't say like which side you have to use but i took it out the package like this this is this was the front side it has a sticker in here as you can see so i figured that was the front side and in the back it looks kind of pink i don't know if you can see that let's see let's try let's try it out since i wasn't sure which size is the one that you, we should be printing on i printed two pages and uh, both sides to see how it goes 
And I want you to see the difference. This is from the side, the front side that I think it's the right side to print on. And this is the back side. As you can see, it's kind of pink. It looks kind of pinky. So let's do the test. paper looks like now after pressing and look at the colors so beautiful and vibrant I love sublimation this is just awesome uh, I recorded with the light on and it was kind of like yellowish so I told my husband to turn the light off and now it looks more like uh, it's supposed to you know, like it looks in, in real life. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. So now I'm going to try the other part of the paper, the back part. Uh, I don't think it's necessary because I, I think uh, it did a great job. But let's see. Let's just let's try the other side. This is what the side that I think it's the right side and then this is the one that we just made it looks the same for me uh, it's just that as you can see it got some marks in here I'm not sure where they came from yeah I think it was from the printer because it's in the corner right there and then when I move the paper maybe even move the ink in the middle but as you can see oh and I didn't press it to uh, in this corner like it was supposed to. My press is too small. I need to buy another one. I would love to buy the teal one. Have you seen the teal one? It's beautiful. Anyway, uh, so yes, the corner. But other than that, I mean, it looks, it looks amazing from both sides. Let me see if I can. It's the same thing. Same thing, but well, yeah. Same thing, so it doesn't matter from which side you use the paper. It's gonna be beautiful, vibrant. Special thanks to the company Hippo for sending me these products to show you. And remember that all of the links will be in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This really helps my channel a lot. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.